you've been following along, you know that for the past year, Parker and I have been living the digital nomad life, moving to a new city about every month. As we are considering where we want to live full time, we decided to narrow down on a few cities this summer and kick off our travels in the Pacific Northwest. After spending two weeks in Portland and getting to know the city better, we have recognized the many pros of living here, which include the incredible nature access. Within 30 minutes to an hour, you can be at the gorge, the mountains, or the coast. Within a reasonable driving distance, other cities and charming towns are quite accessible, such as Seattle, Washington, where we lived for a month earlier this year, and Bend, Oregon. Bend is one of the fastest growing cities in Oregon, and its metro area is the seventh fastest growing in the U.S. Between 2010 and 2019, the city's population increased by 25%. It's also one of the fastest growing job markets in the country. In addition to having a reputation for being an outdoor lover's paradise, Bend has the highest microbrewery per capita in the U.S., and it's home to the world's last blockbuster. For this video, we decided to embrace the Oregonian lifestyle and visit Bend for a weekend. As I've said before, essentially, we've lived everywhere so you don't have to. Let's start exploring and check out Bend. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. For those of you who are new here, my name is Katherine. This weekend we are going to visit Bend, Oregon, which is a few hours southeast of Portland. Our first stop on the way is this cute little lodge resort. We just had a fat stack of pancakes and now we are going to go canoe on the lake. In this episode, we are going to be covering some hiking recommendations, really good food and beer in Bend, and excited to take you with us. The Subtle Lodge and Boathouse is a year-round rustic resort located on the shore of Subtle Lake in the Deschutes National Forest. While offering the amenities of the urban experience, including charming lodging, delectable food, and a very hip aesthetic, the lodge paves over the rustic element in the process. aware of the size of the pancakes at the cafe. We were not blown away by the taste, they resembled a Bisquick mix, but they did the job. After breakfast, we rented a canoe for an hour and paddled around the lake. We're now in Subtle Lake. It's beautiful out here. It's really fun. It's a little bit expensive to rent a canoe, but we think it's worth it for this quick trip we're on. Greetings from Sisters, Oregon. We just stopped by Sisters, which is a coffee shop in the town Sisters, which is near the Sisters, which are big volcanoes. Now we are on our way to Bend. We are gonna do a quick hike before we check out the town. And the coffee's good. After stopping in Sisters, Oregon, we drove to Bend and kicked off our weekend there with a quick hike at the Larkspur Trailhead. After hiking, we went to Worthy Brewing, a restaurant and brewery which is entirely powered by solar panels and has an organic farm where the kitchen staff harvest produce for their meals. We just came to Worthy Brewing for a quick snack and beverage and now we're going to head to our Airbnb change and then go explore Bend for the rest of the afternoon. I just want to say that this macaroni is so much better, thousands of times better than the Beaker's macaroni in Seattle that's the world's best macaroni. It doesn't compare. Food for thought. <laughs> We just came back and rested for a bit at the Airbnb and now we are going to Crux, which is a brewery. They have a couple sours that we're interested in trying. After that, we're gonna walk around the town on the west side of Bend. 
So far, we like it a lot. Definitely more low-key than Portland. It reminds us of Boulder and Flagstaff combined because the access to nature is really quick. And it also feels a little bit more suburban. Just pulled over to the side of the road. We are on the Cascade Scenic Byway, Cascade Lake Scenic Byway, and it's really pretty. The camera doesn't capture it as well, but we are gonna drone some and you will see how pretty it is. The Cascade Lakes National Scenic Byway offers 66 miles of ancient volcanic landscapes sprinkled with shimmering alpine lakes and pristine forest. The byway opens seasonally in June and closes in October. Visitors can swim, hike, climb, paddleboard, and partake in a variety of recreational activities in this area. We thought these views were stunning and highly recommend visiting. After this excursion, we made our way back to Bend just in time to enjoy dinner during golden hour. We just came to Drake Park in Bend. We got El Sancho tacos to go. They were really, really good. We got chorizo chicken, which was the chipotle chicken, carne asada. I think that's it. And they all hit. The chips and guac were really good too. The guac came in a tub this small. I think it was a little expensive for what you paid for, at least for the chips and guac, but the tacos were reasonably priced and it was a nice evening. But we like Bend a lot, it's really cute. It seems like a really good place to grow up here, raise a family. We can't get over how many vans we've seen. So many van life people are people who just have them for recreational use. It's really cool, very interesting. Haven't seen that before. We just came back to where we hiked earlier to catch the sunset and it's really beautiful. We drove up here so the driving part came in clutch. So if you're in Bend, worth checking out. For our last stop in Bend, we are going to Spoken Moto, which is a really cool coffee shop that's motorcycle themed. After this, we're going to head to Smith Rock State Park, which is about 36 minutes away and hike a loop which we're still deciding on what we're gonna do. Situated about 26 miles northeast of Bend, Smith Rock State Park is known for its scenic views of deep river canyons and rocky cliffs, making it a premier destination for adventurers of all kinds, particularly rock climbers. We made it to the top. It was very steep, but good. How'd you like the hike, Parker? I liked it, it was good. It's steep, but you can do it. We hiked Misery Ridge Trail, which is a moderate hike of about four miles. This area reminded us of our time in the Arizona desert and California. Coming back, it's pretty shady and 
like I said, hiking poles would be good because it can be a little bit steep. You get really good views on the way back. Also, there was a couple in front of us and they had two babies and they were flying up the mountain or the hike on the way. And I could barely do it. So it was inspiring to see. But this is pretty much the view we've been experiencing for the past mile or so. I really like this hike a lot. It reminds us sort of a Utah, Southern Utah, Arizona hybrid with a little bit of New Mexico probably because this river reminds us somewhat of the Rio Grande. We started this hike relatively late, around 10 or so, and it's definitely become pretty congested. So if you want to do this with less people, come here at seven, eight o'clock, probably. Eight o'clock is pushing it, probably. It was fun, a good two hour hike, good workout in. Bring lots of sunscreen yeah, and lots, lots of, of water. Parker and I are in Government Camp, Oregon, which is a really cute little mountain town about an hour and a half away from Smith Rock, an hour and 20 minutes from Portland. We just went to this really cute restaurant called Glacier Public House and got burgers for some post-hike fuel. Now we're gonna walk down the little strip of the town and then head home to Portland, but it's really, really cute. You should definitely come here if you ever get a chance. It sort of gives off Swiss Alps type of energy and it's so chill. I had to change into leggings. I was so cold and I'm lucky I brought my flannel with me. Parker's just in shorts and a t-shirt. Oh, it's 58 degrees right now. 58 in July. I can't get over that. Also, as you can see, people can ski here at this time of year. We just saw a bunch of kids who were here for ski camp. They were like 10 years old or something, which is really cool. After exploring Bend for the weekend, we fell more in love with the state of Oregon. Next week, our final Portland video in this series will dive deeper into what the city has to offer. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Lodge. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kat. The Lodge. shadow with you.